Hey T fam, it's your girl princess. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. So today I will be making rice water for my hair. Um, I've been watching some YouTube videos. This is my first time making rice water. Um, and on the YouTube videos that I've been watching, they say it's supposed to make your hair thicker, um, add length to your hair. And you know, when I was younger, length is what I wanted, you know? But now, I don't really care so much about the length. The length of my hair, if you can see, I'm okay with it. Um, but I do want healthy hair. I really do think when people have healthy hair, it looks so nice. When your hair is full and thick, um, and it just looks really, really nice. And that is what I am trying to achieve. So, um, the tutorials that I've been watching on YouTube said that you can use any type of rice. I love this rice here, the basmati rice. Okay, this is what I have. So, this is what I will be using. Alright, so I only need a half a cup of this, which I will pour into this cup here. And then I'm going to rinse out my rice. And then also, um, I'm going to put lemon, um, not lemon, I'm going to put orange peels in the water once I wash it out, okay? But I'm going to show you, I have a spray bottle for when I'm done. I'm going to put this, I got this from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to put the rice water in here to put in my hair when I'm ready to do that step. And I also have a mason jar. I said I saw on um, YouTube that you should use a jar to store it and you have to leave the rice water um they say the bet is best to leave it overnight but they said like you can leave it from anywhere from 12 hours to 24 hours okay so i got my little mason jar here and we're just gonna get started okay so i have the rice i'm gonna take the rice and measure out a half a cup i'm not really gonna use a measuring cup to measure i'm just gonna use this cup and I'm going to just fill it up halfway because this is an 8.5 um, ounce cup. So I'm just going to pour my rice into the cup without spilling it. Okay. So this is about a half a cup of rice here. And then I'm just going to go over to the sink and I'm going to put some water in it. To rinse it out okay I'm adding the water I'm using warm water okay I'm gonna let it settle and if you can see the water is a little cloudy oh I'm spilling it y'all but the let me turn the water off <laughs> but the water is cloudy if you can see that all right so I'm just gonna take my hand and rinse the rice okay i'm gonna rinse my rice one more time on the tutorials a lot of times i saw that the people only rinse the rice once, but I'm gonna do it again. Okay, here we go. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing I did to rinse it. Pull my hand over it. I'm losing some of the rice, but that's okay. Okay. Drain it really well. Okay. So this is what the rice looks like. And now I'm going to transfer it into the mason jar and add water to it. Be right back. Okay, so I'm going to take the mason jar and pour the rice inside. All right. 
All right, so as you can see, I have rice in there. And then I'm just gonna turn on the water again. And then I'm gonna fill this up. I'm using warm water, well, lukewarm water. And we're gonna fill it up just to cover it. So this is what I have. And then I'm also gonna get an orange from the refrigerator and put some orange pills. And the reason for the orange pills is because when this gets fermented, um, it'll have a really bad odor to it and the orange pills just helps with the odor to make it smell nice and fresh. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my orange here. I just rinsed off the orange, but I'm only gonna be using the orange peels. So I'm just gonna peel the orange. And I have some peels that I'm gonna put in the rice water. I'm gonna put another piece in there. They also say you could use peppermint oil, but I couldn't find my peppermint oil. I probably would have preferred to put the peppermint oil in only because peppermint oil, it has a tingling sensation. So I'll put another orange peel. I think that's enough. I don't think I need to put too many orange peels. All right, and I think I'm just gonna eat the rest of this orange. Um. All right, y'all. So here we have it. I will come back and show you after 24 hours um, how it comes out. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I am back and it is the next morning and I want to show you what my rice water looks like. All right. Um, I put it, I stored it overnight in the refrigerator. So this is what it looks like. I put a little bit of aluminum foil on top only because, I'll show you. I have a hole here, okay, and it said a seal jar. So first, the, the first thing that I'm gonna do is smell it. Well, I think because I put the orange peels in, it doesn't have such a bad odor. Okay, it smells kind of, it smells like oranges. It smells citrusy. Okay, so I'm going to put that down and I'm going to pour my rice water into my spray bottle so I can spray it on my hair. All right, I think this is enough for now. All right, if you can see that, that's all I'm going to use on my hair. I don't need a whole lot. All right. All right, so here we have it rice water Okay with orange peels in it. All right, y'all that is all that I have I'm gonna try this in my hair and I will let you know how it turns out on that note I am going to go. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Be blessed and bye